you just want to to step out of it, to step out of the the, the, the whole race, the whole business. The the monstrosity of being alive overwhelms you. We cannot deny the forces that once we attain a certain level of pleasure, then we're going to get used to it. But if it gets you know, redirected or it doesn't happen the way we want, well, that's when the suffering comes. You take steps in this direction, you take steps in that direction, sort of get lost along the way and sometimes you fall down. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. There's still hope. Where is there happiness? Well, happiness is found within, within the heart. We're found within the whole world, everything and nothing. It's not in one particular thing, but it's in everything. I know how it feels to have a broken heart, and I know how it feels to be alone. But I just want you to know that it's not the end. You're thinking about quitting, you're thinking about giving up. Don't give up. Stay here. Stay focused. You've got to reevaluate and attack life again. It's, it's, it's tough, it's hard. And it's like being knocked back almost. Even though you're successful, it's like being pushed back again. Yeah, whether you win or you lose, the depression still sets in. Yeah. yeah. The number of uh, teens, Gen Zers, 20 somethings suffering from uh, depression and anxiety and loneliness. Loneliness is through the roof. This is one of the biggest issues that they're dealing with on college campuses. We rise to our maximum potential when we're of service to others. Going back to anxiety, going back to depression, going back to loneliness, I truly believe that's the answer. That's the way out of any kind of mental illness. Like, I want to make myself a better person. I want to make the world a better place. And everything that I'm doing, I've got these two chariots, and I'm going down this road, or I'm going down this road, or I'm going down both together. been there a lot, really. uh, especially before my car accident, my teenage years. Uh, then the first one I ever loved, we had a big breakup, and that breakup set me down in depression and suicide point. And uh, it's tough to dispense advice to people other than get help. And I'll share why. Because that time in my life, I had so many people coming up to me, you know, my friends would come into my dorm room, Brendan, let's go do something. And you just, there's just, the, the hope is lost. And what people, I think, make the mistake of trying to do is hype people up. Everything's going to be okay. It's going to be great. And what people need who are suicidal is serious psychological intervention. They need to seek support and help. And outside of that, when they do get that support, the first thing a great therapist is going to do outside of the emotional reflection work of why are you here and what has caused this sort of pattern for you, they're going to get you starting to get some momentum. The, the most important thing is when you are super down, outside of finding that emotional reasoning from where you are, is to start getting momentum. Because with momentum comes hope, with momentum comes motivation, with momentum comes uh, 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 you know, that feeling that there's a reason for tomorrow. And so it's as simple as just saying, okay, what are three things I'm going to do today? And I don't mean that like a lot of personal development guys would say, like, what are your three big goals for the day? Arr! I'm like, dude, sometimes that first goal is, sh I'm going to shower today. I'm really going to shower today. Uh, I'm going to walk to the library. I'm going to come home. 
and that's all we got. Literally, that's all we've got. And you gotta honor that struggle when you're in that place. Like, know that where you're at, it is okay that you're there, and now you're gonna need help. And now you're gonna have to set up some daily practices just every day, win a little bit. Not like win your dreams, not like crush through goals, not like be badass, not like, no. It's momentum. Uh, I, most of the guys I've dealt with in that position who were suicidal, um, outside of their therapeutic work, I said, the most important thing you can do is win. I don't wanna ever be flippant with the advice to people who are dealing with that situation outside of get some help, get some momentum and be okay if that momentum is really small because it will build. Trust that that momentum builds and trust that those gloomy and bad dark days, trust that those are going to be there. They'll get less and less and less as you learn how to cope, but they're gonna be there. And so when they're there, so when the, my, I mean, outside of teaching people to bring the joy in my life, I teach people to honor the struggle, honor the difficulty. When we honor the struggle instead of hate the struggle, we can really achieve extraordinary things because our mindset's in the right place. It accepts, like, as soon as you honor the struggle, you accept that, oh, of course, there should be struggle here. I should, I should honor this process. When you go to the gym to work out, you, like, honor that this is gonna be hard and it, honor that process of getting better. And the more that you bring honor to it, the more your psyche builds with strength and you get a little bit of that esteem back because you see yourself engaging something versus avoiding it and running away. You see yourself connecting with something and giving it reverence. You're like, like I have reverence for the difficulties of life. They may be better. So I, I don't want a friction-free life. I'm not interested in it. You know, the, 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 I, I like to say sometimes that you know, the journey to greatness begins the moment that our you know, deep desires for comfort and ease are overpowered by our desires to connect and contribute.